West Frankfurt's Veterans Day services were outside an old train depot that's now a museum. And it's attracting younger guests, giving hope for the museum's future. News 3's Danny Valle explains. I'm standing in the exact spot where President Harry Truman stood when he visited West Frankfurt in 1948. It's one of the many fun facts you can find when you visit the West Frankfurt Military Museum. I'm amazed at how many people didn't even know we even existed. It's one of those blink and you'll miss it places. But once you're inside... This is Mr. George Mahalik. He was a Pearl Harbor survivor. You'll never know what you'll find. What's your favorite parts of the museum so far? Seeing the World War II helmets. Niles Tudor and his family drove from Harrisburg to check it out. Safe to say... You know who that is? The Eisenhower? He was impressed. That little boy right there from Harrisburg was shocked. He was shocked. He's coming back again, too, he said. For Danny Lowe at the West Frankfurt Military Museum, that was music to his ears. It just made my day right there. Made my whole month right there, you know, seeing that young man smile. I think it's interesting and fun to learn. Thank you for your service. Niles' enthusiasm gives Lowe hope that the museum and its history is in good hands. It just takes patience and guidance. Take them a... a a case at a time and kind of show them, explain to them what was in the cases, what this was, what that was. They, they have never seen anything like this before. And you can visit the museum too. It's open every Sunday from 2 until 4 or by appointment only. You can find that information on our website, WSILTV.com. Here in West Frankfurt, Danny Valle, News 3.